So we have arrived at High Point, New Jersey, the highest point in New Jersey. What's your plan of attack? Hook it around the top of the thing? Realistically, we gotta see how windy it's gonna be up there. I'm and, thinking uh, full-on pylon slalom. Side. Got the big boy, super girth. So here we are, got the toy hauler loaded up once again for another adventure. Today's adventure, High Point, New Jersey, appropriately named because it's the highest point in New Jersey. It's this like 220 foot tower looking thing. We're gonna go up there, we're gonna shred it. There's a lot of trees, hopefully no one goes down and dies in a tree. The list of people on this trip, myself, Judson and Jill who are tagging along, Dan who's bringing his own vehicle, Jeff who's bringing his own vehicle, and Ross from Aviator who's bringing his own van. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna spend the night tonight at a little airport randomly in a ShopRite parking lot, which a manager named Jerry gave us permission to camp at. Then tomorrow morning will be a new episode, a new day of adventures, and uh, new place to fly. Guess how many dollars that Philip was, bud? Uh, uh, what, how, what, how much gas was in there? How much? 69. Was it? Yep. Nice. <laughs> Jeff is inbound going through the hawk's nest. So, uh, Judson, what's your favorite part about being a paramotor pilot? Being a paramotor pilot? I mean, the girls, the money. Getting chicks. Yeah, you know. <laughs> We've arrived at the park. We have to pay the toll. Well, Do you think we should try to convince them that we should get, like, an influencer discount? <laughs> I think you should. Sir, do you know how many followers I have? <laughs> I'll give you $10 instead of 20 <laughs> Hello, Hi. sir. How are you? Good. I was told to expect you. Oh, we're on camera in there. <laughs> See that picture of a dinosaur on the wall? Leaves. I think those are the leaves you're not allowed to bring in. Oh, that's why they call it high point. <laughs> okay, my friend, you're all set. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Just put that in the windshield if, uh, when you park. Okay? Will do. Look at that thing. She's a big one. Have you spotted any park rangers yet? No, but if you see any, let me know. Gotta get all the intel. It's a high likelihood they're gonna report us to the FFA. I don't wanna become a farmer either. Ross is already drinking a beer. Way to go, Ross. Way to go, Ross. Pre-game in the flight. <laughs> He's like, yeah, what? What about it? It's like, the I'm FFA's wasted. Not... Yeah, the FFA's not here, dude. They're not gonna see you. You're fine, bro. Russ, Took you long enough. You to crack a cold one or what? Yes, the whole secret is ginger ale, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Doing the hard stuff. Oh, Jeff got a Polini sticker. What? Upgrade. Really should have asked Buddy down in the booth if we could just launch from the parking lot. Yeah. Be way more convenient. So we have arrived at High Point, New Jersey, the highest point in New Jersey. Obviously, we had to come up here and scope it out before we actually fly it. Go up to the monument, check her out, check out possible landing options, observe the vista. $20 to park up here, but if we were half an hour later, it would have been $0. So we should be launching from like, down that way, right? Yeah. Cause that way is Port Jervis. That way is Sussex. It said erected on the placard. <laughs> All those haters on Instagram, Appalachian Mountain Range. It is in fact a mountain. Up there. Standing on it. Well, let's see it. See anything good out there, bud? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 220 feet. She's no forester. We came, we saw. Yeah. Now we have to conquer. Conquer. What's your plan of attack? Hook it around the top of the thing? Slalomer, throw a sat. Realistically, we gotta see 
how windy it's gonna be up there because if it's this windy when we come here, it's gonna be like super gnarly on the backside. You saying you're scared or what? Uh, we might get pinned out. Eat some hard dirt. I'm trying to avoid that, but yeah, I mean, if it's good, we're gonna come in. I'm and, thinking uh, full on pylon slalom. I'm thinking synchro pyros. Py candy cane. Yeah, synchro That's candy cane. Yeah, you and me. 220 feet, we can get at least a couple rotations on her. Made it. This is the spot, the LZ that we've chosen. It's six or seven miles away from the actual monument. Um, closes at dusk, no ATVs. There's no reason that we shouldn't be allowed to fly paramotors here. They do want us to social distance, so gotta keep that in mind. But they've got volleyball, they've got football, they've got soccer, they've got walking pass. Very nice park, 10 out of 10. And we've got all the time in the world to get ready here, so I'm just gonna hang out and go launch and fly high point. Yeah. Tell me about the cultural importance and significance of this year windsock. The importance of it, it is a wind indicator. Short for? Windicator? A windicator. Oh yeah. Complete with caution tape, which means fly safe. Had a couple low hanging trees on the trail, but it looks like we didn't do any damage on the roof. Jeff just discovered a broken part on his motor he's fixing. I think we have all the parts to fix it, but it was a good find because between here and the monument, there's a lot of trees. We're gonna probably take a high, but don't wanna be having a motor out landing up at the monument after they close. Dude, I'm looking like straight up Donald Trump. I know. How are you feeling, Mr. Judson? Oh, I'm feeling like we're gonna hit a fat sun tonight. Fired up? Oh, I'm fired up. Got a fresh bushing in there. She's dialed. It's not gonna matter when you have a motor out up at the monument anyway. We'll be My calling motor's it factory, the but. tree service to get you out. That's why you Because it's like, you put it through here and then it's difficult to get through there. Take a look at this You put it through there here. and then it's difficult to get through there. Hair box is getting a little flimsy. Sounds like you got a little bit of. But we got the Gorilla yeah, Tape hookup. We're gonna have one, two, three, four, and five parameters. <laughs> That's how you do it. It's five dudes showing up to a random field. about to get shredded it's never gonna be the same I think we struck gold tonight with the conditions I mean that tower up there is at 1800 feet and there's a weather station up there the last we checked it was trending down and it was reading three gusts eight which for the top of a ridge like that is phenomenal pulling up on Judson he's got my selfie stick fully erect right now Air's nice and crispy cool up at altitude. Oh, sh it's dead! It Surprise the hell out of me. <laughs> Way to do it, Dan. <laughs> I don't know how the air's gonna be like up close and personal to this thing, but there's one way to find out. That is send a fat spiral right around it. We're gonna get it! We're gonna get it! Oh my god, I've been waiting for this moment. Woo! The air got squirrely on the backside. <laughs> yeah! It's like a hive of bees! Oh, and everyone's taking a little turbulence on the backside. Yes, sir! <laughs> 
Let's watch Jets in orbit. So sick, dude! Oh, I just saw Dan's shadow on the tower and it looked amazing. There goes Dan. Everyone takes a little bump of turbulence on the backside, but nothing major. Let's do a nice slow flyby into the wind. Yes! 220 feet of majesty. That's so sick. So this little town past the Sea of Trees is Port Jervis, New York. And apparently, uh, Jeff is telling me that there's a spot, like they have a landmark set up, where you can basically be in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York all at once. But there's also a park over here that we were considering flying out of. So we've got plenty of time. I figure we may as well go fly around this park. That was sick. That was pretty sick, was dude. <laughs> I just saw him recently. Oh, you have seen him recently. I think he's good. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Did everyone get that little burble behind the yeah, freaking tower as you went around? Oh yeah, I kind of like hitting your wing because <laughs> it hit yeah. hard. No, I was like, I'm gonna find out if there's anything, and That's sure enough, hard. not enough to like really make you <laughs> yourself, but enough to know it's there. Oh yeah. When you hooked it the first time around it, I was like, oh yeah, okay, I'm not gonna go that close. <laughs> <laughs> like full commit. Damn. I put a fresh bracket on, it's already cracked. Holy smokes. Wait, really? This thing has a thing about cracking them. Right there, that's exactly where it cracked before. All right, so we're back, everyone's on the ground and uh, Judson's girlfriend, Jill, is gonna go up for a flight. She's got the Maverick Adam 80 and my Spider 20. Conditions are perfect. I've never seen Jill fly in person, only in videos, so this should be cool. Did you teach her how to do that? What's up? Did you teach her how to do that? I might have. Dude, that was pretty flawless. good at it. <laughs> Judson's coming in. Jill's over there. Skirt, skirt. Oh, that was a bad spot landing. <laughs> Six out of ten. Yeah, I'd give that a solid four out of ten. Nice speed, low accuracy. Huh? Perfect form. <laughs> you got Jill on the telephone? Kinda. I just told her to hook it low over those trees and she'll hit the field. Oh yeah. She'll figure it out. She's pretty good at this. There's Jill. There's the helicopter. Sheesh. Hope so. If okay, land on the other side of the tree. God's 
speed, Jill. I believe in you. Oof. Apparently she killed her engine. She's good. Can you take off from there? Did you kill her engine too early? Yeah, that or it died. <laughs> I think we can access it. It didn't look like a very thick, but it looked like a solid wall. Starting to get dark, and a Judson is emerging. He went out on the one wheel. Ooh, it sounds rough. Yeah. Uh, that's super rough. Needs a low end tune or something. No pressure. Everybody loves <laughs> it. Perfection. Better than Judson's spot landing. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Oh, I see him. He's emerging. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Went pretty well, though. Yeah, over here. Nobody was sprinting across the field yeah, when Yeah, I just back. looked around. I was like, there's no way they're going to get to me, but this is a giant field. I can just take off again, so. Yeah. Okay, now what's the plan? Food. Food. So we were hoping to eat over there, which was a fine pizza establishment, but it's completely vacant and closed. Everything in the towns near here are vacant and closed, so we're going into ShopRite, and we're just going to get maybe microwave stuff or pre-prepared stuff. That's the move. Jesus Christ, that weighs like 10 pounds. Oh. Yeah, it's just 10, uh, 10 30 on one or whatever. Shop right, a little sketch here. We're classy out here, shop yeah. right. So this is it, abandoned parking lot and a shop right and the airport's over there. Jeff, I don't know if you know this, but we almost got absolutely f***ed twice. No, what? what <laughs> Coming through Port Jervis, nine foot underpass, had to go through a neighborhood, had to back up a street, then we go to another one, 12 something. 12 I was gonna seven. just bust right under it until Judson said something. <laughs> I had to throw the four ways on, there's traffic behind us. So special thanks to Judson for stopping me from going under that overpass or else I'd probably be replacing the air conditioner at very least on the toy hauler. Also, thank you to you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. High Point was epic. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, make sure you subscribe so you see future episodes. And if you really wanna be a cool person, check out our Risky Biscuits Co. merch at tuckergod.com, linked in the description. I appreciate your guys' support and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Till then, fly safe, have fun, peace. Je